What's good, everybody? It's your boy for the tote, and we got another unboxing today. And before I even get into the unboxing, bro, these spiders, man. Excuse me, man. Living in Texas, bro, we got we got this new breed of, of like flying spiders, man. They're irritating. But before we get into the unboxing, bro, I went to go pick these up at DTLR, and um, I'll let y'all know right now. I hate DTLR. I hate Jimmy Jazz. If you're a real sneakerhead, if you go to these stores like so often. You know exactly what I'm talking about. They have the worst customer service. I have to like argue or fight with them every single time. And it's just be so unnecessary. And if you're not a sneakerhead, the best comparison um, I can give you is that they're like the Popeyes of sneaker stores. So don't expect no, no good service from them. But I did win off of their raffle. And that was the whole reason why we argued. I came in and I said, I'm here for my reservation. And she got mad that I said reservation instead of pickup. So we had a whole little... Uh, altercation before i got to pick up my shoes but these are the air jordan 14 flint grays um you know i don't think a lot of people were expecting these i think these kind of just came out of nowhere and then again nike and jordan's just like dropping a whole bunch of jordans right now just to see um what hits and what's not and honestly it's too many um and not a lot of people are really caring for them so if you are interested in this after the video um you can literally probably just go to any site I know they're still on Nike as I'm recording this video. So if you are interested in this shoe after the video, go ahead and check Nike out so you can get yours for retail. If you can't find your size, uh, just comment in the section below. I'll try to help you out. So let's get into the unboxing, starting with the box. It's just a regular Jordan 14 box painted gray all around. Then you have this kind of chrome jump man in the middle. Um, I do like that a lot. I am a sucker for chrome, um, but other than that, it's just a basic box. So we're going to get into the size of ingredients. So it says Air Jordan 14 Retro Special Edition. Um, all that SC stands for is basically they use premium materials just to, you know what I'm saying, char charge your boy a little bit more. Um, it's a size 13. The colorway is Flint Gray slash Stealth White, as it says in the name. Then the color code is FJ3460-012. So these did already came out. I think these came out uh, yesterday. I didn't get them early. Nobody really wanted them for me to get them early, and I they want to go in my collection. Collection it passed for me, but let me know if it's a cop for y'all after this video. So gonna go ahead and unbox them real quick. There's no special paper. It doesn't look like we get any special laces, but here they are, the Air Jordan 14 Flint Grays. And honestly, let me put this box down before I I give y'all my wholehearted review, man. I'm gonna start off the video by saying this: 14s get a lot of weird hate. I really don't know why they get the hate. You know, a lot of people say the most the ones that really matter is Jordan 1 through thir uh, 13. Me personally, 14 got some classics. They got the Ferraris. They got the Black Toes, uh, the Laneys. If you like blue, I'm not really a blue fan. But now will I say this is a classic right here? No, but it definitely, uh, you know, if you're a gray fan, I know a lot of people go crazy for the gray shoes. Me personally, I don't think gray really fits on this shoe. You know, it's not bad looking, but I think gray belongs on more calmer shoes like New Balance. Um, you know, all of the comfortable shoes right now, Dunks, stuff like that. Maybe even a different model, uh, like some, maybe like fours. The cool gray fours was cool, but these aren't bad. And the, the really one thing that I do like about this that I will give them this is the quality on these are amazing. As you can see, you got the suede right here, but this isn't like that bad suede, you know. I don't really like the suede where it's, it's like real ashy and you just got to worry about even touching it. Then we have um, a different type of suede. Now, this suede right here is going to give you like kind of those um, stroke marks, but it's like a different material because it's kind of like that, that car in a sense material. So it's not going to look too bad if you touch it like that. But something like the bread force, if you have those, you know, if you just literally touch it like this, you have a whole like stroke mark on there. But. So the material is good. You don't have to worry about the quality issues on them, um, you know, especially with it being kind of a general release shoe. Nike just tends to just put stuff out there, uh, not really caring about the quality, stuff like that. Now, another thing that I really like that uh, they point out is a lot of these uh, chrome accenting. So right here, you can see the chrome plating right here. I do like that. I'm just a sucker for chrome, to be honest. Then right here, you have that bubble patch with the Jordan. Again, I do like that. Just... When they have like the accenting off of the other colors, I think that does a real good job. Then you have more gray on the back with the Jumpman and then the 23 font. And this is another thing that I like about the 14s. 
I always like how they have their jump man like this. I just think that is it's and also what I also like about 14s is the tongue. They have the most unique tongue. I can't I feel like it's just good to be different sometimes, you know. Um, so that's why I really don't understand the the hate for the Air Jordan 14s. Then you have it to where it says Jordan on the front of the tongue and then air on the back of the tongue. So again, those are pretty cool. Then you have the white jump man on the toe box, more chrome aglutine, you know. Learn that from Phineas and Ferb. These right here are called Aglet. So we got the chrome Aglet. Again, just the accent off of the gray, man. And then if you want to look at the bottom of the sole, pretty basic sole. We got the white jump man. Then you got the extra bubble right here. So now these are, even though I did get in my size, these are for somebody else. So I'm literally going to go sell it to them after this video. I do not plan or I didn't plan. That's why I didn't get them early to sell any of these. Because again, a lot of the shoes, right? Well, not shoes. A lot of the Jordans aren't really doing so good. And I'm going to make another video on that because Jordan is like they're not in their bag right now. And they're just honestly, like I said before, they're just putting stuff out just to see if we buy. And that that's why they're losing money right now, you know, because they just continue putting out retros that we really don't want. You know, let me know what y'all think about these in the comments. Again, I think it's an okay shoe. I just don't think nobody was really asking for it. You know what I mean? So we're definitely going to have those type of shoes. Even, for example, the Green Glow 3s that came out last weekend, you know, it's an okay shoe, even though we had that colorway like recent, you know. But, um, yeah, I don't think anybody was really asking for it. Now, if you gave us the Green Glow 4s, um, I'm all. But, yeah, here's the 14s. I think the Black Toe 14s that are coming out, soon i think in the next month or two i think those will do way better um just because those are uh, a colorway that a lot of people want you know uh that they're retroing and they're actually doing it the right way so if, you, if you're a fan of 14s I, I wouldn't mind this you know i'm me personally i'm gonna pass but it's not a bad shoe you know what i'm saying this is the type of shoe if you haven't bought a shoe in a minute you know what i'm saying or a last minute fit you know what i'm saying or you know what i'm saying just go ahead and Copy some Jordan 14s, the Flint Grays, man. So it ain't really too much else to say about this shoe, man. Let me know what y'all think about it. I think the best quality of this really is just the quality of the material. You know, you can't really, especially with that suede, man, Nike and Jordan, they be some cheapskate when they be putting the materials on and just think they can get away with it because they're the big dogs. But they, they did they think this one. I ain't gonna lie. So let me know what y'all think about the Air Jordan 14 Flint Grays. And with that being said, I'll see y'all next video. Peace.